It was at the Patriot Front Interactive Forum official media program for the ruling party, which features government officials and members of parliament discussing and interacting with the media on pertinent issues affecting the nation. And on Sunday this week, Eastern Province Minister Makebi Zulu appeared and accused United Party for National Development President Haka Indehitilema of benefiting about 14 million United States dollars in the sale of Lower Zambezi National Park and that he has kept the money in the offshore accounts in Bahamas. Uh, reading through and discovering that, oh, actually the company that owns this asset was owned by Haka Indehitilema who incorporated a company in Bermuda, having incorporated the company in Bermuda, went on the stock exchange in London, sold the asset for $14 million. Someone already made money out of it, so they won't say anything. I would be very surprised if at all I hear the opposition, or indeed the UPND, say anything over the laws and basis. But I'll challenge them to say something over the laws and basis. Because that is another form of corruption. When there is an outcry, when it suits your political ambition, or it's purpose to give you mileage, then you jump on it and sing the loudest. When you are implicated in it, you sit back and you don't see it as uh, some form of corruption. Let's, uh, let's be uh, very objective in our, in our, in our pursuit. And in to these allegations, former Lands Minister Harry Kalaba on Hot FM Breakfast Show telephone interview on Monday morning came to the rescue of Mr. Hitchilema as he elaborated what transpired. And as I speak on this matter, I will speak with a very confidence, knowing that this issue was a cabinet decision. And uh, cabinet decisions are never decisions that one just, just talk about openly like that. But at least you know that that was a cabinet decision, it was not a personal decision. You will recall that in 2014, when this matter was still very live and active, uh, before the environmentalists took it to court, the chief government spokesperson then, Honorable Mwantaka Peya was very emphatic about this issue. He did say that this is a government position. And UPND national spokesperson Charles Kakoma has charged that it is a folly for Eastern Province Minister Makebi Zulu to drag Mr. Hichilema's name in an issue government messed up. First of all, I would like to express uh, our disappointment that uh, the government of the day, the PF government, uh, went ahead to make a cabinet decision that uh, they should allow mining activities uh, in the national park. Uh, this revelation was made by the former Minister of Lands, Honorable Hari Kalao, that they had a cabinet meeting at which it was decided that they should allow uh, mining in the, in the national park. Uh, this is uh, regrettable, this should not, be allowed, should not have been allowed, and uh, we squarely blame um, the, the, the government for having uh, put up a policy to allow mining activities in tourism uh, areas like national parks. We as UPND strongly condemn that, uh, that decision, and uh, therefore would like to appeal to this government that uh, they should not allow any company, any mining company, to mine in the Lower Zambezi National Park. According to the Zambia Daily Nation, dated 14th February 2014, Sylvia Masevo, by then Tourism Minister, was reported to have differed with Lands Minister Harry Kalaba approval granted to an Australian investor, Zambezi Resources, to start mining in the Lower Zambezi National Park. And UPND national spokesperson says that mining activities in the Lower Zambezi will threaten thriving tourism and livelihood of everyone involved in tourism in the Lower Zambezi. Work against tourism is going to work against uh, uh, natural resources like uh, animals in our national parks. So uh, the UPND will reject that policy. On the legal battle thereafter, this is before the court. Pamela Mulenga, CBC News, Lusaka.